Um, so in this, in this next example, uh, what I look into is obviously we do not have any variable that's isol uh, that has a coefficient of 1. So substitution is not going to work. So I'm going to look into elimination. And again, when looking into using the elimination method, I want to add or subtract my two equations. Now, remember, from the purpose of doing the first two problems, again, was two reasons. One was to help you guys do subtraction, but also to help you show you that subtraction makes a lot of mistakes. I always prefer to use addition over subtraction. And there's a way that we can always ensure that we're doing addition instead of subtraction, if that's something you like. If you don't mind and you, don't, you can do subtraction fine, then you can continue doing it. Um, but notice, ladies and gentlemen, if I add or subtract to these two equations, oh, that was a problem I wanted to do. Um, well, first of all, notice that my variables, my x's are, are under each other, my y's are on each other, and my variables are on each other, right? Notice how that is? So I don't need to reorder them. Um, the next thing is uh, notice that none of my coefficients have the same, co or none of my variables have the same coefficient. So by adding or subtracting my equations, I'm not going to get rid of, or I'm not going to eliminate any of my coefficients. So therefore, I have to get these variables to have the same coefficients. Now, again, you can look to eliminate any variable. You can get the coefficients of x to be the same or y to be the same, whatever you really like. I always like to prefer to get the coefficient that has the least common uh, multiple, um, or that's the easiest to obtain. So you see here, 2 and 10, least common multiple is 10. For between 3 and 10, the least common multiple is 30. So therefore, I'm going to get the x's to be the same. So to have them to, be, to get the same common multiple, the smallest number that they, um, that they share would be 10. So that means I need to multiply this whole equation by 5 and this whole equation by 2. Now, the one thing I want you guys to understand is, notice how my two, variable, two coefficients are already positive. When you're adding equations, one has to be positive and one has to be negative, correct? Yes? So basically, to create that, all I simply need to do is make one of my multipliers negative. So if I make one of my multipliers negative, now when I multiply, I get a negative 10x minus 15y equals negative 80. Oh, I'm sorry, positive 80. You don't have to make it negative. I am deciding to make it negative because now, because watch, now when I multiply this one, this becomes 10x minus 20y equals 60. The reason why I decided to make it negative is because look it, now I have a negative 10x and a positive 10x. So when I have two equations that one's negative, one's positive, I can add the two equations. If you decided to not make it negative, then rather than adding the two equations, you would be subtracting the two equations, which is perfectly fine. I just know from experience, majority of students, they make their mistakes when they are subtracting. OK? okay. So now, let's go ahead and add our equations. Negative 10x plus 10x is 0x. Negative 15y plus a negative 20y is going to be a negative 35y. And 80 plus 60 is going to be 140. Obviously, 0 times anything is just going to be 0. Now I have negative 35y divided equals 40. So I divide by negative 35, divide by negative 35. Y is going to equal negative 4. So again, I will reiterate this to make sure that we are clear on this, especially for the students that are having a hard time understanding or paying attention with this, is that once we know the value of one term, we still need to figure out the value of our other variable. So we need to plug it back into one of our equations. Again, do you plug it into this equation, that equation, this equation, that equation? It doesn't matter. But plugging it into, an, into this equation is probably going to be more work than that equation. So I'm going to decide to plug it into my very top equation. So I have 2x plus 3 times y, which is negative 4, equals negative 16. 2x minus 12 equals negative 16. Add 12, add 12. 2x equals negative 4. Now I just divide by 2, divide by 2. 
x equals negative 2. So therefore, my final solution is negative 2, negative 4. Anybody have any questions <coughs> on that?